Prometheus was no god. That's something that many people forget or do not understand. He was neither a god nor a man, but made of older stuff. He was a titan. When Gaia and Uranus mated, they made many children. The Hecationaries, the Cyclopses, and a dozen other monsters that roamed the earth. Each one, Uranus imprisoned back inside Gaia, all of them, until she bore the titans, whom he was pleased to look upon. Mind you, his son Saturn later castrated him and usurped him at Gia's urging, but this was the way of things for the Greeks. When Zeus later rose up against the titans and their cruel reign, only a handful of the titans fought with the gods. Themis and Prometheus. And the gods were later successful. It would be foolish to claim that Prometheus was the sole originator of their victory, and I will not do so, though many of the ancient authors did. Prometheus fought, after all, for selfish reasons. Men. Prometheus granted writing, science, farming, medicine, and math to the humans, his children. The gods granted suffering and demanded sacrifices. When did Prometheus ever ask for a burnt carcass in his honor? Men were one of his creations, you see. He wanted them kept safe and strong and viable. He wanted them to be blessed by the gods and looked after. Zeus was angered when he stole fire, and he chained him to a rock to have his liver eaten by an eagle each day. Just as Prometheus stole fire from the gods, so too do we wrest the secrets from the universe daily. How mystical and magical must fire have been at one time. How dangerous and unbelievable. Could you imagine if the only source for something, the only thing you could relate it to, was a star? How unbelievable it must have been to the ancient Greeks. And now? A trivial thing. A trivial thing once deified. Such is the way of all great magics. Such is way of all great works. Such is the way of all unknown things. With study and intuition, the mystical becomes common. No sacrifices are needed, and no blood is given. The doors of the universe are opening to us ever further. Let us step through. From the Prometheus Labs Hiring Packet, circa 1982, written by Redacted Prometheus Labs, Incorporated was a private, for-profit conglomerate that was based around scientific research and development. Founded in 1892, the company focused exclusively on researching and developing anomalous technology for commercial and private sale. Prior to the events of data expunged in 1998, Prometheus Labs was considered to be one of the most prolific competitors of the foundation. It had a large public profile as a purveyor of high-quality electronic, medical, and pharmaceutical, automotive, optical, and industrial goods produced from anomalous research. Prometheus Labs also had classified contracts from various worldwide militaries, primarily the United States. It developed numerous specialized technologies for these groups, aimed at enhancing their military capabilities, such as redacted. Prometheus Labs was affiliated with most of the major groups of interest, having engaged in lawsuits with Wondertainment Industries, purchased objects from Marshall, Carter, and Dark, worked with the Church of Maxwellist Writ to develop brain-machine interfaces, designed low-cost food alternatives for Mana Charitable Foundation, sold tools and supplies to Are We Cool Yet, the Global Occult Coalition, and the Chaos Insurgency, and waged industrial espionage against GRU Division P. Prometheus Labs was neither openly antagonistic nor helpful to the Foundation. The Foundation offered to design custom containment protocols for Prometheus Labs' more volatile objects, but were declined. Following data expunged and the resulting cover-up, many of the projects in development were seized by the Foundation, and surviving personnel taken into the Foundation's employment. It is believed that other groups of interest also stole projects and research from other facilities. Prometheus Labs had numerous networks, branches, and affiliates and offices around the world. Although all of these locations had generalized work, they were primarily dedicated to individual specialized fields of research. For instance, the Prometheus Labs branch in Kolkata focused on optical research with lasers, while the New Mexico facility was dedicated to computer sciences. Prometheus Labs also had more esoteric facilities, such as a laboratory in the Marianas Trench that researched planetary engineering. Certain documents indicate the existence of a fully self-sustained facility on Mars which studied nuclear physics and quantum mechanics, 
and a facility constructed in the Jurassic period that researched genetic engineering. These facilities have yet to be located.